commission findings in the staff report. Would you like to speak to that motion? I would. Uh, okay. So first, I appreciate everyone uh, taking your time and coming out to share your concerns and opinions today on an issue that's important to you. Um, your comments are really uh, heard and, and uh, appreciated by the commissioners. In reviewing the staff report and listening to the testimony of both the applicants and the appellants, it's clear to me that this overlay plan is consistent with the Coastal Act. Um, I'd just like to address a couple of issues raised about this overlay LCP. Uh, particularly in listening to the discussion about the fire, I, struck, uh, I was struck that we were really discussing three separate fire-related issues. Uh, number one, that there's a danger from campers starting a fire in the Santa Monica Mountains. Item two is that there's an inability to evacuate residents and guests from Ramirez and Coral Canyon. And three, finally, do we have the ability to get fire suppression resources to the source of the fire? And let me just briefly talk about each one of those, which I think kind of got wrapped up in a ball of twine. Um, let me talk about fire danger from campers. I want to acknowledge that I've heard and appreciate the trauma that the Coral Canyon residents have gone through and the fear that this plan would increase the odds of that occurring again. I just want to say I've heard it and I understand it. I understand it maybe a little more than you would appreciate because I also have a house in the middle of a state park that gets 200,000 visitors a year, and I understand the real fears of wildfires. But I consciously understand also it's part of the trade-off I've made living somewhere surrounded by nature. Um, and I guess I was also surprised today how, given the fire dangers in and around Malibu and the real fear of its residents, to see the testimony today that the city of Malibu allows a private campground to have open fires and that the city is still issuing building permits in high fire danger areas. Um, this overlay amendment, in contrast, requires strong provisions to address fire dangers, including a requirement for a fire protection and evacuation plan, no campfires, restriction on camping on high fire dangers days, and numerous other provisions that result in the strongest fire protection policies in any LCP in the entire state. And even more so, according to the testimony of the National Park Service, this will have some of the strictest camping rules in the entire state of California. Again, I understand the concern and the fear that any type of camping could start another fire like Corral. But given that the Corral fire was caused by an illegal camper, I'm not persuaded that there's a cause and effect between authorized camping in these proposed sites and the illegal fires at illegal campsites. Number two is the issue was raised about the ability to evacuate residents and guests from Ramirez Canyon. I was also surprised that there was no discussion about what it would take, uh, at least from the city, to make the road conform to 20 feet. I'm glad Mr. Edmondson brought that up uh, at the end. I was also surprised to see the focus only on Ramirez Canyon as an evacuation route when it's pretty clear that the Via Serra Road um, is also a viable alternative, leading to a 40-foot wide uh, Cannon uh, Doom Road. I believe if the community was actively working with the uh, Conservancy to allow disabled campers to evacuate in an emergency, which by the way is something that still troubles me, the VO Carroll option would have been offered. And finally, uh, there's the ability to get fire suppression resources to the source of a fire. And this one just confused me. If fire trucks can't get through on this road, how are they going to protect the existing houses in these canyons? And I didn't quite uh, understand that. And then just two more quick issues. Issues have been raised about camping and trails in Escher. <coughs> the existing Malibu LCP already allows trails in Escher. And the trail camps are, to me, a logical extension of trail use and are a resource-dependent use and provide educational and interpretive components, uh, which are allowed in Escher. And the final one <coughs> is finally whether the Conservancy is authorized to initiate this overlay process um, I guess to me the record was pretty clear that under the California Public Resources Code Section 30111, the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy and the Mountain Recreation and Con Conservation Authority are persons that this section is defined, and the MRCA is a special district as defined by the Coastal Act, Section 30118. So like our own Coastal Commission, the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy was established by the state legislature in 1980. Since that time, it has helped to preserve over 60,000 acres of parkland in wilderness and urban settings. And this overlay plan will allow all residents of California, regardless of their economic status, the ability to connect with nature and our parks. And so I'm happy to support this for all of the people in California. Right. Thank Commission you for your time. Thank you. Commissioner Kruger. 